Hey, I'm Joel with Prosperity Studios, here with the promoter of CSL, Ali Wahid. How you doing, my man? You good? <laughs> Just barely surviving, mate. Yeah, literally, it's been, a, it's been a long night. It's been some great fights. Literally, a lot has happened in the last few yeah. hours. First of all, got to get your take. What do you think of the last main event? Oh, mate. Oh, mate. I remember speaking to Danny. Danny says to me, listen, I'm not happy. He goes to me, the judges were bollocks. When I was watching the fight, I was thinking, shit, this could go to Danny. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, this could go to Danny. Danny's dropped him, what, twice? Am I right? I don't know. I can't yeah. remember. And then was Rev, too Rev's dropped him back. So Danny dropped him twice. Rev drops him back. So then I go and see the MC. He tells me Rev won one round, and then he's won one by uh, drop, right? So that's why they said it was a split decision draw. Yeah. So that's where I had to speak to the referee. He goes, it was a draw. Because I can't make the decision. So he, the mm. referee goes, it's a draw. Um, and the other judge, he's a boxing, he's a boxer himself. He's at high amateur level, mm. Nabil. He says it was a, a draw as well. It had to be a draw. So what I want to clear up here, um, so what a lot of people were confused about tonight was the knockdowns and the scoring of that. Yeah. So in the pros, if you get knocked down, it's a 10-8 round to you. Yeah. Whereas um, in amateur boxing, you win the rounds automatically, but you don't get the extra point, like getting the pros. So, is it, right. that is so I think it's the same in white collar. Yeah. Um, where you, say you just you win the round, doesn't get you the extra point. And I think that's what it was. I think that's what the judges were looking at. And that's what I people they were just thinking about. They were seeing that look, you know, Rebs won one round decisively just by boxing and landing the punches. He also won a round by dropping him. Mm. And then Danny won two rounds by dropping him twice. Mm. So that's where the judges made their decision at the end of the day. And on, on the fight card, it yeah. said they were scheduled for five rounds. Well, yes. They actually only fought four rounds tonight. Like, we had to put it as four rounds, man. It was mm. too bloody hectic out there, bruv. Like, mm. it, obviously, the, it got delayed. With got the, delayed. The delayed. You know, the ring decides to turn up at fucking dinner time. And it's just a piss take, you know? Obviously things happen and stuff, but you know, it's it's not good. But my standard, I've been told this is it's the best event by far. Mm. We fully packed out the place. Mm -hmm. I can't see me coming back to work in those center again. I think this place has just been absolutely lit up. Um, it got too hectic, bro. Got to a point mm. where the police had to get involved. Fights nearly kicking off out of the balcony. Thank God. We had a fantastic security team who came in last yeah, minute. That was because a dickhead decides to fuck me up last night. Besides me, do me over last night. The guy's on fucking honeymoon. I'm trying to reach out to him on fight week. That dickhead says to me, sorry, mate, I'm on honeymoon, blah, blah, blah. I can't get a hold of you right now. I don't do business. I'm thinking, listen, mate, I'm the fucking promoter here. I've got thousands of pounds down the fucking line. You're telling me on fucking fight week, you can't fucking make some phone calls and get me 20 fucking heavies. Mm. No responses. I'm chasing, I'm chasing. And... When I fucking rest and wake up, I will fucking name and shame that fucking dickhead and that company, bruv. So fucking remember that, yeah? Those people that turned up, fair play to them, because I had to be awake till two in the fucking morning and get all the SIA boys in there. So fucking fair play to the boys that turned up. Unfortunately, we had some delays. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, we got all the fights done. It was the best fucking event I've done by far. Fucking someone tell me and tell me prove it wrong. No, literally, it was a great event. Uh, quite a few knockouts actually. I, think I didn't see any of the fights, mate. I'll be dead. Yeah, on you've been around. Yeah, I saw. I you did. Jump I saw fuck all. I'm so not wearing. I'm not even wearing just... fucking shoes, bro. <laughs> I've got cramps. I'm fully fucked. I've got no shoes. My shoes are in the ring. I'm been walking around like a headless chicken. Fucking hell, mate. I don't know what the fuck happened. I didn't watch any of the fights, bro. I didn't watch Big Coos fights. Yeah, just about out. saw some of Connor's. Got a good knockout. I didn't see fuck all. But what, one thing I did want in my heart is Big Koo and Kiki to happen. And I don't know what happened there. I didn't see the fights or nothing. But for me, Big Koo, he came out of court and the idea was, we've got to get you a fight. We know you're on tag. I've fucking been there before, bro. I've been on tag myself, bro. Everyone's done shit in their lives, whatever. You give them a second chance. That's what Combat Sports League is about. Give them a second chance. Work with these kids and reform them. My man turned up. Fair play to him, held it down. His guys about were about two, two days free. Two days there. Right. My man was inside lockup 24, 23, 7, whatever you want to call it, yeah? Turned up, bang, done the job, fantastic. And then Sam Ford, bruv. Yeah, we what interviewed him as well. Fuck was Literally. that? Literally, yeah. I don't, I don't know if you got to see all the fight, but 
one of the fights of the nights for sure. So we had, we had to Sample. interview him. Yeah, literally. Was it Sam Ford? Yeah, man. I think I watched that fight. That, yeah, I, think, was that, I was in the ring, innit? I don't know what I was doing there, but Sam was calling me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, you, you bigged him up after, and he was like, you don't get to talk about him. You don't know what he's been through yeah, and man. all of that. So in the first round, he got caught with two bad body shots. I saw and that, bro. Standing counts. Two standing counts in one round. Like, a lot of refs would have waved it right there and then. And in his interview, he was saying in my head, I was going to quit. Gonna quit. I was oh, gonna quit, but he was saying, "I was like, it's the story yeah. of my life." I was yeah. like, "I feel this pain. Yeah. I, I go he's through these struggles, yeah, but man. you just can't give yeah. in." Yeah. He's and he was talking about mental. Man. Exactly, yeah. he was talking about mental health yeah. and how important it is, um, and and how you just can't give in, and how he's always got going and boxing. That's so that much guy, brother. Let me tell you something, there, John. That man has been through fucking hell. Yeah, and sometimes he causes it. Sam knows me. Sam's my fucking boy. We're like brothers. But I don't want anyone thinking there's any bias here. A deal's also a brother of mine as well. Mm. Kid come in, goes to me, listen, I want to prove a point and fight. He fucking turned up and he fought. He a great he fight, fucking fight turned against up a more fought. experienced opponent. He fucking turned could've up and away. fucking fought. Could've away. It could have gone either fucking way. But at the end of the day, you know what? When Sam won that fight, I was like, fuck. Because I had no clue who the fuck was going to win that fight. Mm. Sam fucking won that fight. And he's proved the whole fucking town. He's proved the whole time. This was his biggest test. So if anything, credit to Adil, because Adil really pushed him to get that. Got to get the rematch done. That's what I'm thinking. Gotta yeah, it was a split done. decision, very evenly matched fight. Yeah, man. Very competitive. Was there any, um, I don't know, I can't remember if there was any drops or anything like that, but. So, so um, not in that, there was standing counts on both sides. So Adil got two standing counts in the first round. Um, and I believe it was Sam got uh, in the last round. round. He got one standing count. Yeah. yeah and then Sam, round. I think Sam, I think Sam did win a round, and then he got a, a, a deal. He won a round, and then he got a, a stoppage, like not a stoppage, but yeah, a standing, standing count. Deal, so. Yeah, literally in the last round, yeah. secured that round. Okay, Could have been either way. It took about fifteen minutes to get him. <laughs> 40 minutes from the ring just bruv. 40 40 meters right into the studio Dude, sam is the type of guy bruv like he will only listen to people he's got love for yeah and mm. he will then respond quicker sometimes if you don't know him there was there was a million fans more than him to be fair bruv, people fuck it there's a lot let me say something people turned up for him fair play and sam knows himself a lot of them deep down wanted him to fucking lose and he didn't lose so the next event, he knows exactly what's going to be planned up for him. He knows exactly what's planned up for him. And he's talking about a title shot. Mate, we're talking the baddest motherfucker. Because in my opinion, he is literally earning that right to fight for that baddest motherfucker. So mm. we're going to design the baddest motherfucker in Woking. That belt is going to be designed for him. Because okay. after all the things that he's gone through, all the shit he's gone through, deserves shot. he deserves it. And uh, with a deal, we're definitely going to organise something for him as well. He fucking earn it, man. He mm. fucking earn it today. It's, he was in great shape. It was a great fight, a little great fight. I think it was four stoppages. Yeah. But like literally, there was uh, three knockouts yeah. and, a, and a TKO from Nate. Yeah. So yeah, people want to smoke tonight. <laughs> it's, they were coming for it. We've had a great time. Yeah. Literally, we've been working, but didn't feel like it because we've just been catching some great entertainment. So I'm going to wrap it here. Yeah, this has been Joel from Prosperity Studios and Ali from CSL. Uh, you're coming back in February we're with looking CSL at, 6. We're looking at doing it end of Feb, CSL 6. Location will be confirmed very soon. Clearly, we've rammed this place out now. I've done it three times here, three times all the shot. We'll find another location. I'll smash that into pieces as well. We'll get Joel and the team in there, promote it. Fantastic. Massive shout out to Ellis team. Uh, massive shout out to Wind. Windmill Production. Windmill fucking oh, production. Yeah. And massive shout out to Pros. Prosperity Studios. Bro, you've yeah, got to change that fucking name, bro. It's you, too you hard. You just man. never say it right. <laughs> yeah, I've got a D in English, bro. D, <laughs> D for dickhead. No, but um, massive shout out to these guys. Big shout out to my staff. Big shout out to my security. Big shout out to everyone, my sponsors. Thank you. I love you. Thank you very much for taking care of everything. And we are going to come back. The next location will be confirmed. And I will fucking return. And I'll show you why I'm one of the fucking best promoters in this circuit. All right, and that's a wrap from CSL and Prosperity Studios. Ali, we've had a great time. Thank you, man. All right, last one.